I would recommend that businesses continue to lean forward in building out diverse workforces. Um, the data is clear, it's overwhelmingly clear. Uh, and you can look at the McKinsey studies, the BCG studies, the Lloyd studies, that all talk about how more diverse representation at the board level, at the company level, uh, expands opportunity and de decreases risk. And, you know, you think about one of the McKinsey studies talks about companies in the top quartile of ethnic diversity have a 39% higher likelihood of outperformance compared to those in the bottom quartile. Um, I mean, it's just, the data is just overwhelming. Um, you look at one of the, the Deloitte studies, I remember seeing one that talked about uh, organizations with diverse workforces ha are more likely, I think it's eight times more likely to achieve better business results, twice as likely to, to meet or exceed financial targets and can spot and reduce risk by 30%. So if you believe that you are in a position as a fiduciary to drive and maximize value for the assets, the companies, the, the, the groups that you, that you work with, uh, work for and work with it, it is it's imperative to you know look at the data and it's critically important that executives especially in times where I call it you know you've got scarcity of talent in many cases you've got to you know tap the best talent on the planet and in many cases in the U.S. Uh, and enable them to participate in the businesses that that drive our economy that drive our national security.